All right, y'all. So today, we are going to wash off the crystals that we got from the Ron Coleman mine. a couple of these rocks so just to kind of show you this right here this is like quartz rock you can see that's just kind of like your white quartz all right there so pretty neat but we also got stuff like this just do a quick little rinse and there there you go you got a nice clear piece of quartz For the first one being pulled out it's not a bad piece of quartz right there okay so we finished one bag we still have one more just dumped out all that dirty water. Let's look at look at what we have here. So we're gonna start with kind of the white crystal. As you can see here, there's some nice pieces, um, some really good chunks of white. Um, very pretty. I didn't go too heavy into washing these, uh, just because I wanted to really focus on more of the clear pieces here. But I mean, like, look at this one. So we have some really good clear ones like this. A couple of good, this is like a little uh, cluster here. And then we got a couple of small pieces. These are really good for your necklace or, you know, earrings or something. So this one, this one is probably real good for a necklace. Get it polished up a little bit and then hung on a necklace. Got a pretty good point. This is the best out of the first batch. But I think I have some good ones, better ones, in, uh, in the second. All right, so I'm gonna finish up uh, this bag and see if there's any other little fun ones to be had. We are here hanging out with Patrick and Becca. Hello. Becca made us a delicious dinner. I put my hair all up, so pretty exciting. Uh, we've just been chilling, watching each other's vlogs, having an absolute blast of a time. So I'm selling Patrick my DJI Pocket 2 because I want to exclusively work on the A7C currently. So uh, we're kind of doing a test vlog, if you will, and uh, he's walking around asking her questions now if that microphone is on it is. then you're gonna be talking way more than she is oh, yeah. so you're interviewing her with the microphone on you so then if you're gonna have that conversation just turn the microphone off oh, and, it'll and then it it'll pick you guys up because that's got you know two or three mics on it so, of course, this is just practice. I'm yeah, that's what we're doing. We're 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 live and in I love charge how here. Smooth it is. Yeah, that gimbal is the best. Absolutely love it. So yeah, so he's playing around with that, practicing and and kind of getting the hang of it because it's not a huge learning curve, but because it's such a small device, it doesn't have many buttons. So each button is a multifaceted button. Where you push it once, it does this. You push it twice, it does that. If you push it three times, it does something else. So. It's a little bit of a learning curve, four buttons and it does the world. So it's definitely something you gotta kinda take some time to learn. But so yeah, so we're just hanging out, having a grand old time here. So I did give him our quartz crystals from when we were in Arkansas and we were mining together. 
because he's got all the I'm gonna put the word up here that's the type of chemical that really cleans those quartz crystals up so I gave those to him he did a bath we're gonna pull those out here in the next two days it's supposed to sit for a few days so we're gonna pull that out in a few days um, but we've started the process of, of them just kind of bathing and soaking and cleaning um, so that's gonna be super exciting we also did just book a cruise we're trying to get them to come with us but we decided to book a cruise on the MSC Seaside out of Port Canaveral coming up August 20th so not that long from now uh, we're gonna be doing a cruise so if you want to you want to join us on a cruise MSC Seaside out of Port Canaveral August 20th come join us it'll be a fun time we're trying to get them to come so we're trying to force them force the hand if you will all right let's check in with Patrick okay Patrick how's it going it's going good how is the pocket I love it it's it's a little bit of a learning curve as yes to it is what all the different buttons do and but. how many times you got to push it but that gimbal is second to none yes in fact uh, when I bought the 360 it was I had to decide I either wanted it, the pocket or the 360 and I wanted them both but then I thought well we'll get the 360 this year and then next year when we get our tax return back I'll get the pocket but somebody uh, bless me with a with a pocket so. how could I repay you like maybe go on the cruise with you in July right bro I was I was just telling them that we're booking this cruise in August and if they want to join oh, us August, they can yes. so uh, yeah you guys what, need to join us that's what we're working on we're trying to figure out how to swing it but that's right and I was pretty... just telling them that uh, you got all the acid bath for our crystals that we're excited yes. to reveal the grand reveal of how beautiful they are yes they are going to be quite spectacular when they come out of the acid in two days you guys did really good especially for first timers because honestly I don't think I found ones quite that nice my first time out there so well um, to be honest he was like right there next to me in the hole guiding me the entire way so I'm pretty sure that when I would get up and stretch because of my knees and my age that I would he would I think he would throw some of the ones he found in my pile and be like oh what's that oh you missed one there and then I'd be like oh my god I found one and it was really just him throwing them in the hole next to me you can't prove that what actually happened is when he would turn around to get a drink or whatever, I would take a little peek. And if I saw a good one in the wall that he was digging out, I would just reach over there and, and then drop it down in my in my hole. And I'd be like, Rob, look what I just found. <laughs> I'd be like, man, how do you keep oh finding all the God, good ones? That's right. You did find some really good ones. So once we, uh, once we wash them off and we get them all clean and stuff, we'll do like a his hers comparison and, uh, and see uh, who's, who's the hers. <laughs> but we'll see. And this is the gem wizard. So he is going to show us kind of what we're doing here to clean them up. And then we're actually gonna go inside and do uh, some necklace wrapping, gem, jewelry making session with the girls. But the boys, we're doing science out here. Yeah, we're doing the, the rough stuff with the acid and the, and the dirt. And That's right. Yeah. Okay, so three days ago, I took the crystals that he had done a preliminary clean on. He hosed them off and did a little scrubbing with a toothbrush. And I put them in a tray and then I put them in a bath of oxalic acid, which is an organic acid. It's found in leafy green vegetables, so it's a mild acid, but you still, I mean, you still don't want to tangle with it. If you, you should wear gloves when you, when you are taking the crystals out. So do, do as, as I, I say, say, not as, as I, I do. do. <laughs> but if you do, for some reason, get the water acid solution on your hand, just hose it off. Um, it doesn't hurt unless you've got a cut. So, I mean, it, it just feels like water. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be taking them out of the acid. We're going to hose all the solution off and get them nice and clean. And then we're going to take them in and make some jewelry.
welcome to Patrick's Kitchen. Patrick's Craft Hour. <laughs> we, we have selected our crystals. Katie and I have ours from our little collection when we were in the Ron Coleman mine. And Anya is wrapping an amethyst. at this point. Beautiful. Isn't that your birth month? Yes. Yes. That's okay. February? Yes. My mom's is the same. So, I have set before you two pieces of wire, approximately 11 and a half to 12 inches long. Good. Love it. Today is our last day here in Joplin, Missouri. It is a super sad day. We have had a ton of fun with our friends. So I would suggest go check out their channel, PMB's Wide World of Ports. Uh, I'll link it down in the description below. Go show them some love and tell them that Rob sent you. And, uh, you know, these people have been great. Becca's done a bunch of cooking for us over the last two weeks um, and to kind of send us off I wanted to reciprocate by making my chicken hibachi that I make. So they're all coming over uh, in a little bit to the trailer and we're gonna make a big chicken hibachi. I've cut up the chicken, I made the rice last night. Uh, they say if you want to do some really good hibachi fried rice, make the rice the night before put it in the fridge so it kind of dries out a little bit and that gives it more of that crunchy crispy flavor of rice instead of like a moist rice you want that kind of fried crispy rice so um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy out and uh, start trying to prep this thing for some cooking it's so miserably hot I am just absolutely drenched in sweat anyways uh, let's make sure it's Unlocked. All right. Let's see what we're looking at. Look at, look at this. Come on, look at that sheen. Sheen. We got some sand on here for some reason. But yeah. Look at that. Nice oily sheen. And in case you were wondering, my ankle still hurts. Dinner was delicious. It was. Made and by the chef here. Yes. It wasn't that difficult. It's not very difficult to make hibachi chicken. It just takes a long time. And the right griddle, which we really do love that uh, razor flat top. Like I said earlier, I've had it for two plus years now. And honestly, like, things holding strong. But 
So we are here at the playground, letting the girls get some energy out, burn off some of that good yum yum sauce. And uh, we're just enjoying our time here with our friends for the final our last evening. night. Our last night together. So this is the longest that we've spent with friends and uh, you know, I could definitely see us doing it again. But next week? Not, not next week. Next month? We'll, we'll see you in, in the fall. The fall. Of, of next year. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we'll cruise together. On a, on a sooner date than next fall. But. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, the time has come. Our friendship has grown so much over the last two and a half weeks. But unfortunately, we must move on to Oklahoma. Oh. Unless you stay for another yeah, you week. Have to. <laughs> so here's the thing is, we think that they should just come with us. Yeah, they're moving in, folks. I'm gonna go get my gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, we had such an amazing time uh, getting to know these people. Obviously, I hung out with them on the cruise, and we got to spend a little bit of time together. But you know, we were all working and having a good time, and this has just been really great the last two and a half weeks, kind of getting in the nitty gritty. The nitty -gritty. The nitty -gritty. Well, it's funny to think that I met you guys for the first time two weeks ago, but I feel yeah. like I've known you forever. And it was like we knew you when we met you. Yes, yeah. Yeah. 100%. And I mean, the kids are in Madison's room playing right now. I mean, we're, you know, there's the peas and the pods and the, the just togetherness. The together, the friends we made along the way is, is what we're trying to talk about here. Family. Fa fa friends, family, and good food. It's what we're about here on okay. Here Today, Where Tomorrow. I mean, and, just and cruising. And, and cruising. And camping. And camping. And geodes. And many other rocks. And Keep the necklace. Yeah, that's uh, the necklace she made. I'm not wearing any jewelry because I was covered in oil and, and chicken guts. But uh, we <laughs> that's have. That's a story for a different day. <laughs> <laughs> that's the pay per view <laughs> side. Uh, if you want to go there, go to my Patreon. No. We don't have a Patreon. We don't have a Patreon yet. Yes. Yet. But. So yes, sadly we must say goodbye to our friends. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I will link their channel at the top of the description. If you like us, you're gonna love them. Check them out, tell them that Rob sent you or Katie sent you and uh, really get to know them because uh, we really have had uh, a blessing of a time hanging out with, uh, with these fine folks. Likewise. And you guys are definitely gonna be missed. For sure. As will you. As will you. All right. Well, I think we are going to close out on this note. Missouri. Uh, there's a couple people here in, in Missouri, including these these folks here. So we're definitely going to be coming back here. Um, you better this, be. This is one of those states that, uh, aside from the beauty of the state, there's, there's more than one reason to come back. So we will definitely be back. But anyways, I'm Rob. And I'm Katie. From here today. Where tomorrow. And we will see you. There. There.